Oof. Well, that sucks. Alright, so just gonna be the teardown of the plate. It's gonna be a 45. Both of these are 9, I believe. I'm not exactly sure about that one. The SR44 Magnum. Um, as you can see, the 44 Magnum is gonna start through, unfortunately. Um, using this 180 grain jacketed soft point the NIJ testing calls for or at least the old rating calls for 240 grain um, jacketed soft point going 1440 feet per second I believe um, the new rating is um, jacketed hollow point going 1475 I think don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, the box said this was going like 1600, and I was shooting it out of a um, my left hack 92, which has a 16 and a half inch barrel, so probably close to that 1600 mark, if not more. So I don't really know if this would have stopped it with a revolver either. Even using the correct ammunition, I, I think it needs a rework either way. So just do with that what you will. The information that I just provided, tear this thing apart, I guess. The, this material is obviously woven. So it did start to fray apart. I added this electrical tape around the edge and super glued it on there and actually held up a bit better than I thought it was going to, so that was kind of cool. Obviously, eventually it did come apart. So, I guess I'm just going to go around the edge. I did glue these plastic bag layers onto the back of this to waterproof it a bit more, even though this is a water resistant fabric to begin with. But really, I just wanted to stop it from fraying apart. And that was before I added the tape, but eventually I just added the tape. All right, so taking this off. around right here I have it on video but I'm not exactly sure where it went so this is the first eight layers right here this spot must have been hit twice I don't know this stuff seems like it would have performed really well I mean 45 full metal jacket and I think 9 was up here Either way both of those were literally stopped on just these first eight layers This is the back. I 
And today, when we went to go shoot this, it was, I think, 105 out. So this stuff was a lot softer when we were actually shooting it. Um, I needed I needed to do like a different glue, a heat, a non-heat sensitive glue, even though I, I didn't really think that would be. This seems to have held up pretty well, actually. I don't know, seems like pretty well together. To the point of like where should have probably worked. I don't know, considering there was literally no rounds in here, it's pretty weird. That's really all there is to it. I don't know, I don't even know if anything I change is going to be able to stop this. I mean, this is like, I don't know, like even if I, I doubled up on this whole thing, <laughs> I feel like it wouldn't stop it, so pretty powerful but maybe I don't know for this shot I had this in front of it super this material and some ballistic nylon alternating 28 layers and I had it in front and then it I thought it stopped it initially but apparently not so honestly I'm not even really sure they stayed together really well actually I really like I'll just stay together. And apparently, um, this stuff stayed together relatively well also. I mean, really all of it did, but this wasn't even sewed. I could have probably sewn it. This was sewn. Just use Elmer's glue on this. This is like, it's like sticky still. But I mean, it literally dried for like at least a whole week, if not longer, before it went out. So should be dry 
So I don't know if that's from the heat, it like melted it. Cause it, I mean, it was super flexible when we got there and before we left, it stiffened up a bit. But I mean, it was like, it wasn't even glued when we got there. I mean, it had been sitting out when we were setting everything up, so. So I don't know, maybe a different type of glue. I mean, apparently the listing that I bought this from, from the website, I also bought this from. This performed really good, so. This is supposed to be 850D KM2 Kevlar. Um, but, but honestly, it doesn't look that much different from the Kevlar I used in my homemade body armor from Amazon stuff. I bought some Kevlar from Amazon. It was like literally like 20 bucks or something and it looks like just exactly like this so i'm not exactly sure if this was what i was supposed to get but i definitely know this is what i was supposed to get this stuff works really well actually so probably the takeaway is um, a different glue that can tolerate heat better. More of this, UHMWPE, because that seems to have worked really well. Yeah, better glue, tolerates heat, maybe a different Kevlar. Maybe I should actually try the non-woven stuff. I did, I did find that eventually. Um, they're, cut, they're already cut into 10 by 12 rectangles also, so. But the thing is, I don't even know if this is like, this, this is 3A rated. Like if I got like an actual 3A vest and I shot this, would it even stop it? I mean, probably, honestly. Um, but yeah, but if it didn't and I remake this, like what are the chances of, of the, my remake gonna stop it? The real thing can't even stop it. So really just, and I don't wanna, you know, remake this and then it just go through again, because we already know it's gonna stop the 9 mil and 45, because I already did it here, and then just waste however, however much, I think it's $100. I put my thumbnail anyways so yeah can't even lift that So we had 18 layers here. We know this stuff works. We know 18 layers. The 
does not stop this. 44 magnum. So, obviously I don't want to double it up because it's going to be almost half an inch. And I don't want to add just like three more layers because that's going to do absolutely nothing. So. I don't know. I'll do some thinking.